Congratulations on your victory tonight. Can you just talk about this experience as a whole? I mean, uh, a big moment for you to fight on such a big stage, short notice against a legend, but having to beat that legend, having to be the guy that sends that into retirement. What, what is the feeling like for you? Well, uh, since the beginning, when, when they called me for the fight, I was really excited. I said, like, just sign the contract right away. So I was really excited about that. It was a big opportunity for me. So, you know, my, 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 my coach always says, you got to take the risk if you want to make it to the top. So I really want to make it. I want to be one day number one. So today I should start. You know, and I, I, I'm grateful that this happened today and I can wait for my next step. Was it difficult for you at all? Because you knew the crowd was behind him and this was his last fight. I mean, I think you could see he was wiping tears away as he came into the cage. So... Was it hard for you to, to not maybe feel a little something for him? Well, uh, I knew that the crowd was about to be like that, you know. The crowd should support his people, you know. So as soon as the cage is locked, there, I say this before, there's no crowd. There's nothing that can stop somebody from take what, 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 what they want or what they need. So I knew that he was about to come hard. So I, I put my hands up and throw everything I got. How did you feel the fight was playing out? Because before you got the finish, uh, he had some good moments as well. Some people thought maybe even he won the first two rounds. Yeah, the fight was, was really hard. I, I was trying to throw everything, but, you know, it was a short notice, so I, could, I, I wasn't able to plan too much. So we, we planned the striking, and we planned, like, if the, fight go, if, if the fight goes to the ground, do jiu-jitsu. But he was really strong in the wrestling. I'm always doing some specific things when somebody tried to put me down from the fence, but today I wasn't able to. I wasn't able to defend the takedown, and I knew it. I have to throw. I, ha I gotta bring the house, and I'm happy and blessed this happened today for me. He goes my way, so I, 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 I will go forward after this. Nice and last for me. What do you want to do from here? Because you said you want to take short notice opportunities. You'll do anything. No, you know any risk. But I would think you might want the chance to. Have a full training camp, you know, improve your skills, that sort of thing. So, you know, what do you see as the career path for you? Well, I, I, I'm really down, you know. I'm down for a fight. Uh, I feel like I, I can fight any time because I'm a fighter. Like, I wouldn't say, like, oh, I born for this, and I would, don't be selfish like that because I don't like to talk like that. But if the opportunity comes, I will take it. If I have a full training camp, cool, I accept it. But if I got a call and I'm healthy, I'm down because... You know, everybody gets tired. No matter how, you, how hard you train, you're going to get tired. So sometimes you got to bring your heart and, and dream big, and that's what I did tonight. Uh, Marlon, you took this fight on very short notice. How did the traveling, did that, you know, uh, affect you, uh, you know, any way at all? Um, and, and what did you think about coming again to Europe for this fight? I think the most hard part was the weight cut. I, w I was around 160 when I get the call, but... I'm always eating healthy. I was, I, I was big, but I was just filled by, by really good food. And that's something that my wife always makes for me. So I was big because I wasn't training really, really hard, but I was every day in the gym teaching my classes and working out. So when they called me, the travel was the hardest part, you know, like 15 hours. And when I came here, I was like 150. So I tell my coaches, like, hey, I, don't, I, would do, I, I would make the weight, but I don't know if I would recover it, but... I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad we got a, we got a catch weight, and I made it. So I'm happy for this moment. And with that experience, you know, getting your second, you've had inconsistent wins in the UFC. So having a second win now in a row, and and, and getting the finish as well, how does that feel? Yeah, I, I was really looking forward to my first winning streak in the UFC. I wasn't able to do it before, you know. Like a lot of things happens, you know. I would not put excuses. The fight I lost, I lost. It's already in the past. But now this is a new beginning, this is a new me. I'm in a really good team in California, Tino Yama, also with 10 Planet. So I feel this is my new me. This is, a, a, this is the real fighter I, I am, and I'm glad people can develop my skills now. So I'm down for whatever is next. And you've second time to Europe fighting here. Do you like coming to Europe, or would you prefer to stay closer to home? I, I really don't care. For me, fight is a fight, and I don't care who's my opponent. We all are humans, and, you know, it's a fight. When the cage is locked, it's two, two men trying to put each other out. So I took any fight, and 
I will wait to what's next. I will not call nobody out. I will let my manager handle that for me, and I will just wait what's next for me. Marlon, do and you Europe is amazing, by the way. Thank you. Marlon, do you feel like you were playing the villain tonight? Such a special moment in the UK. Brad Pickett's last fight, his, his beloved hometown, all, all the people here tonight come to watch Brad in his final performance of an illustrious career. The atmosphere must have been crazy out there. Did you feel like you were the villain? Do you feel like you were, you were the, the sad ending to, to the story, which obviously a lot of people would have been hoping for, a, a victory for Brad in his final fight? Well, I knew it, it was about to be like that. It was about to be hard. The crowd was about to cheer a lot. It was boo me a lot. But what well, I said before, cage is luck. It's two men fighting hard. And I will always fight hard. Like, yes, I was nervous before. It's a big name. I'm... 24 years old, and but as soon as that cage is locked, I will bring everything I got, and I lost my last fight in the UK, so I was like, I have to win today because, you know, the crowd is really good, I like the place, but I, I, I put myself like this, if I, want, if, if I want to be someday in the top, I have to win the type of fight, I have to cross these guys, so I'm doing that today, and I'm happy for this. Thank you, guys.